YouTube. Welcome everybody from Welcome YouTube. YouTube. Thanks for joining us. Well, welcome. So, what do you think, MU's, uh, MU's pulled back quite a bit off the high today. Mm. Um, 80.08 was the high, just got a little, got over that 80 level. And, uh, I feel like looking at the chart for the day, Brian, it looks like it had some motion this morning. Now it's just lying in wait for the earnings. Yeah, like I think so. Yeah. yeah. Had a nice pop up right at, uh, through the morning. And then, uh, we've been sort of pulling back here. Um, it'd be interesting to see, uh, to see what they come out and say and see how the market reacts. Cause sometimes as we know the there's always a big, uh, sometimes we've seen this big run up into yeah, earnings and they report Robin good Hood earnings, said to be but uh, market selling share to sells off to an IPO. sort of a, like a sell a news event. Yeah. So we'll see, uh, be interesting to see how, how MU reacts. And I suspect they'll be putting up some good numbers. That's what I'm yeah. guessing. I assume so, but, you know, I, I won't bet on it. No. In fact, you know, I'm going to start my sheet for tomorrow. I got myself a new book for the new year. Oh, look at that. This is Friday. Oh, my goodness. End of the first week. I know. That's it. Friday the 8th? Oh, yeah, look at that. All right, we'll put in new one here. We'll wait for earnings on it. Coming up after the close, earnings from Micron Technology, Michael Uniform. Hey, did I show you guys what my son had made for me? Turn off Benzinga. Expecting 71 cents cool. in earnings and sure mm. revenue of $5.73 billion. We had a little... Uh, Now, not, not oh. only do I get yeah. the sign of my yes. monitors that I have there, now I get to, uh, I got to, like, I can hit myself with it. If I get angry, I'll hit myself with a piece of, what do you call this, site or whatever this Plexi is? Plexiglass? Is it like an epoxy? I don't know. It's pretty hard, whatever it is. It's probably an epoxy. Yeah, I guess. It's like a, anyway. Yeah. You, 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 had this made for me and uh, despite being out of the country had it shipped and uh, it was pretty cool so i keep it right here it came from the came from the uk i have no idea where he got it <laughs> oh, it okay. it. Well, if it's from the but, uk it could be full of that virus I think it dies off within 48 hours. So yeah. it should have been. A Let's hope so. Yeah. What do we got? Uh, I'm trying I'm looking through here. What's going on? We're sort of Neo selling off a little bit here. Ubo had, was having a nice run and now it's selling off a bit. Billy Billy had a nice, another nice uh, day today. Yeah. Planning to put it in my nose. It's selling off go into the market. Wow. This um, LXPU has just been uh, crazy today. Up 12 bucks. Whew. Big pullback. Yes, right. We've got Apple at the high of day here, putting some uncertainty candles. I took a quick short on it, really just looking for a scalp. Five cent stop. Uh, so I'm sitting just on this side of green. I, I wanted to drop. Uh... Yeah, it's uh, It's definitely uh, flattening out here as we get uh, closer to the close. Apple. Here we had a big. Uh, there was a big move today on uh, Bitcoin. I guess we got over forty thousand, and now we're pulling back pretty hard here. Eighty-nine three. 
Yeah. yeah. I suspect we'll have another, at least one more, maybe another down day tomorrow. And then maybe, because uh, it really got, it was really going para parabolic here. Below this, uh, 25. I don't see any really big orders there, but all right, figure back on the trigger. Anything over the high of the day, I'll jump out. Man, it is kind of just pushing, isn't it? Yeah. I'm actually gonna I'm going to uh, lighten my size here. I don't like the way it's moving. Uh, I'm just waiting. Yeah. yeah. So, um, Kid A okay. out on YouTube has a question, and I think uh, members in the chat, you would be the best to answer this question. Uh, Kid A, if you look down there in, in the BBT chat room, uh, they'll be able to answer for you. So this is his question. Uh, Kid A is asking anyone here a BBT member just wanted their personal personal opinion about it. So, BB. Huh. yeah, anybody wants to provide a candid opinion, that would be yeah. great. We'd uh, feel free. That. Post there in the uh, main chat. Oh, Still crap. just dropping. Okay. Which way, go? Which way are you going to go, Apple? Oh, the market stay. I'm out now, though. Now you're going to drop. You're going to do it now? <laughs> yeah. No, it's really fighting that, not. isn't it? Well, John is probably, well, John is most certainly out of his Airbnb trade. It didn't, it was looking like it was trying to push up, but now it's finally broken 150 after fighting the good fight for most of the afternoon here. Finally dropped that level. So unfortunately, I have to mark this down. There's another uh, loss to the match football. What the football said. Yeah, I'm it pretty sure I got the H did, yeah, Apple did not want to uh, to break down there, eh? Twitter popping back up. Spy's making a Facebook. run up too now. Yeah. Facebook's had a, looks like it's making a bit of a end of day run here. Ooh, look at that. Two sets. Facebook. Yeah. Roku. Roku oh, at 377. Nice move on Roku today. Another oh. one that I just, a little early on it, but. Well, we were talking about this earlier. There's a stopped out to the penny scenario. So Apple stopped me out to the penny. Now it's going down. Apparently I was just a little too early. You were right idea, wrong time. Exactly. Right idea, wrong time. Yes, I see that a lot. Yes. So that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. That happens. At least I had the right idea. So. <laughs> Roku made a nice up 10%, $20 today. MU pushed up above VWAP here, heading into the close. I mean, just above 79. Oh, Lou, you have no idea the fun you missed. 
We can't yes. even repeat it. It's just been phenomenal. Fun you miss. Yeah. You know, what what happens in the chat room stays in the chat room. And we just, we can't, uh, you know, if you're not here, snooze you lose. <laughs> that's funny. That's an expression we have around the house here. Uh, but it mostly relates to food. Yeah. I tell the, I the girls, like, there's something in the fridge. Can I eat it? I'm like, you know what? Snooze you lose. Am I right or am I right? If you find it first, you eat it first. That's the way it goes, man. Yeah. Sound, it sounds there. like sounds like survival of the fittest at your house, Peter. Uh, you know, it's, uh, you're allowed to dip things. We do have rules. You're allowed if you dibs it, but a dibs only lasts 24 hours. So if uh, you dip you something, should only, you should only be allowed a certain number of dibs too, right? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Well, I have to admit, my my kids have been pretty good. Nobody's gone around and just tried to dibs everything in the in the fridge, you know. So. <laughs> yeah. So. There you go. Well, what have we got here? A dibs is like a yeah, Ernesto. A dibs is like a layaway plan. Here, it only lasts twenty four hours, then it goes back onto the floor, right? And then it goes bad. General purchase. Well, I'll admit that I uh, I chased Apple here a bit and tried it again. Hmm. I was talking partly to distract myself, <laughs> but uh, move, it probably it looks like it's going to stop me out again. Don't don't do it. Don't do it, Apple. Yep. Yeah, I knew it was chasing. Came in too late. I'll give it a couple of cents this time. I am I am obviously not Andrew, as I've learned many, many times over. <laughs> I don't know how these momentum things and as soon as he gets as soon as he takes it it moves i'm convinced that nowadays his size moves it i don't care what it is he's, he's moving <laughs> it well you have to you have to think too that there's a thousand people or somewhere in that area thousands of people watching and listening you can move the market maybe well Careful there. That's not our intention. It's not what we do here in the room. If you're listening from the, definitely, definitely the... not. Definitely <laughs> not. Just saying. Anyways, yeah, it's, it's uh, it could be a consequence of you know. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. No, I hear you. Yeah, there is. Uh, Where you know it, it's weird, eh? It's weird to consider trading at a size where you'd have an impact on the market. I know the size I trade, zero impact on the market. None. <laughs> I've all agreed with you, Peter. Zero. I am not making an impact. I mean, there's me and like one other guy with whom I'm trading 86 shares who we care, but that's about it. So I'm out of Apple again. Yeah, Apple's not going to give up the ghost here. Spy is not, uh, spy is not giving up. We're, yeah, uh, Apple's not going to give you. I don't think. No, if you look at the spy, what are we doing here? Oh yeah, yeah. So, oh, no. pretty close. Pretty pretty close to high day on the spy. It's pretty close. Tugging all the moving averages on all the charts. Yeah, Avi, you're right. Andrew just has a great sense for the market. He seems to be able to figure out what's going to happen next. And uh, yeah, which in the at the open is a hugely valuable skill because I mean it's all about that momentum. Really, you just need what happens next, and you can take it from there. So yeah, he's very good at that. It's actually great. You're a great combo team, Brian, yourself and Andrew at the open, because your your trading style is slightly different, but you're also able to play that momentum. You just you look for slightly larger symbols, signals, but signals that still make sense at the open. Anyways, that's mm -hmm. how I see you. 
Well, we and uh, we do look sort of similar for similar moves. Um, so sometimes I'll grab, you know, he'll see a trade that I've missed. Sometimes vice versa. Yeah. Uh, yesterday <laughs> CGC was was a really nice move at the open, and uh, he he jumped onto that one, and and he was trading Neo, and I jumped onto his trade. So yeah, of course they're going to show my age here, but yes, you do have an odd couple dynamic. <laughs> anybody remember because you know when you copy his trade he'll blame you of copying you and not coming up with your own ideas and when he copies yeah. your trade he blames you for any loss so yeah <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> both ways brian i don't know how that works exactly well we're we've been trading together for <laughs> many years now so i'm used to i'm used to the abuse let's just say it's that <laughs> just get used to it Oh, uh, that's funny. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Yep. Look at that. Yeah. Apple oh, just pushing. Yeah, it's pushing up into the close. I should have reversed my uh, position. I did not. It's nice volume too going into it. Nice rising volume into that break. Yeah. UAVS is really uh, pushing hard here. Yeah, the signal would have been that candle. So that yeah, candle it's, been... uh, it's, uh, what is TNA doing here? <clears throat> TNA is probably uh, making another move here. Yep, yeah, breaking out. These things are really extended. I'm not sure if I'm going to take any uh, overnight trades. I might short. Uh, I might actually short U.S. Steel X based on the daily candle. Again, it went parabolic, and today we've had a candle that uh, we tried to go higher, and uh, we're uh, basically red on the day now. So this may uh, this may gap down a little bit tomorrow. Keep an eye on Bingo. Bingo's uh, Bingo seems to be holding uh, sort of around five here. Might be might be ready for another run on uh, the INGO. Bingo is its name. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Megan, if you're in the room, that was for you. <laughs> that uh put that song in her head <clears throat> what do we got uh, what else have we got uh w i m i looks kind of interesting had a some interesting news Um, I think we're going to get a pullback on Bitcoin. Um, I think it. Uh, I think it'll be. Uh, I think it'll be a day, maybe a day or two. But we've we've really gotten extended from all the moving averages. Um, we we are well off the lows of the day. On I'm just looking at GBTC. We're well off the lows of the day. But um, still really extended from moving averages. Um, I think it needs to uh, I think it needs to pull back. It would be a healthy healthy thing uh, and give people an opportunity that haven't been in it to get in. Um, you are uh, making a move up here into the close. Some anticipatory buying. I see AMD is also moving up, not quite as much, but it's it is moving up as well. It's FT, FT. Is that a stock? I've never seen that symbol. Okay. Oh, cool. Looks like you've had a nice move on that one. Wow. Look at her go. The future of fintech. 
Wow, here we go. Boogie. Boogie oogie oogie. Look at that indecision gavel on Apple. Some Uh, well, I'm watching FTFT right now. Look at her go. I've taken a bit of a long on it. Um, just see if we can get some momentum through uh, through, through at least a 580. I'm going to sell some here. 570, 571. Well, there you go. Ella, have a good day. <clears throat> FTFT. Sure. Okay, it's doing a little bit of a pullback here. I'm in at uh, 540. So as we get ready, we got MU earnings coming up. So we'll throw up the trade of the day here very quickly. Maybe. Come on, Come Maybe. on yeah. There it goes. And it goes out to Luke for a trade on Neil. It's actually two trades. Took the first trade, got a pop-up, took, took a partial, and then preserved partials on the way down, got stopped out at break-even. Uh, watched the price action for another minute or so, and hopped right back in and got the second move all the way up. So, to looking towards this profit target. So, nice job on Neil. Uh, managing your trades, remaining emotionally cool. Unlike myself today, when you <laughs> got stopped out and then got back into to the trade. So, excellent job, uh, Lou. Well, sometimes so you just got to give them time and they, eventually they, they they give you something. Here we go. I'm selling. I'm just selling some more here because it looks feels like it's stalling out here. So, if you'd like to submit for the member trade of the day, tag at Barrel Traders. At might be underscore BBT and at norm BBT, use the hashtag BBT family, day trading, and stock market. Uh, if you win the member trade of the day, you'll be put in for the member trade of the week, which all the team votes on over the weekend, and we'll announce that winner on Monday uh, morning or Monday afternoon in the closing bell show. Yeah. This week, Thor did a webinar on how to set up and use your fixed risk hotkeys. Excellent presentation, especially if you're new and you're struggling with managing your risk and making sure your serve size is appropriate to the amount of risk that you want to put on for a trade. It is absolutely a must uh, watch. It is up in the webinar section in the Education Center. Next is next week we'll have Dr. Gary Dayton. He'll be coming to talk to us about how your mental blind spots can be inhibiting your decision making uh, while you're trading. So looking forward to that. Last night we had Dr. Reed that talked about stops revisited. Uh, an excellent uh, presentation on how stops can be attributed to your trader personality and how you see things. So uh, excellent presentation. If you, have, if you have not seen it or weren't there yesterday, it should be up into the Education Center here uh, this afternoon. Next week, we have Krita coming back. That presentation will be at 5 p.m. Eastern, a special time, 5 p.m. Eastern. And she's out of Ireland. She's going to talk about how imaging is a way to improve your trading. All right. And then if you're out there on YouTube and you want to give our chat room a try, you can use the code PREMARKET24. You get access to our onboarding class that goes on Monday uh, with Carlos. And then you'll have access also to our chat room where all day we have moderators and members enjoying and interacting and learning and asking questions as well as trading. So it's a great, great time. Uh, all day, especially if you're at your house, home alone, or even got the kids, it's a great breakaway to hear some of the entertaining stuff that goes on. Oh. Let's go, let's go. 
And then Diddly for doodly. Greens today we have MU at four o'clock. So in about three minutes and thirty seconds we'll be keeping an eye out for MU. Just got long on that pullback on FT. Got long back again. Selling here. So I'm just trading small, small size guys. So uh, it's a, uh, it's a bit of a risky. This is FT. FT is a bit of a, definitely a risky trade. <clears throat> I'm a, I am short uh, Apple again as well. Nice. Did you get in before that big drop? Wow. Yeah, look I got yeah. oh, 40 cow. So. Nice yeah. one. Wow, look 40. at Facebook. Facebook just dropped a, a buck and a bit. Just look at it go. Holy cow. Yeah, well, the spy seems to drop, so. Not much. Yeah. Just uh, so. Spy seemed to just hit that a... R4 level again and just rejected. Uh, spiked right up to it, eh? Interesting. Yeah. I didn't even realize that because that would have been almost the same time when I took this trade. No, it's actually two minutes after. Interesting. Here we go. Here's goes FT. We're gonna are we gonna get through six? Let's see, I've got some. I'll put some shares out here at uh, 595. Oh, let me take some more here on Apple since it's moving back up on me. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Brian, what's happening with your FTFT 76? It's trying. It's trying to get to six. I think it's, it's going to six. Well, as long as you don't run out of time. Got a minute. It's got a uh, minute and 30 seconds. Okay. <clears throat> FTFT. Come on. Come on. Let, let the good times roll. Let's go. Ah. Take some, I'm going to take some off here. 582. I only have a little bit left, so I'll keep, keep the rest at 595. Uh, one on. minute. Push for me. Come on. One minute. Come on. Push for me. I feel like I'm. I feel like I'm in in a delivery room. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it. One more push. One more push. Not that I know what that feels like. But <laughs> oh boy, here we go. It's not going to make it. I'm out of the rest of it. I'm just going to bail on the rest. Of it. No, it's okay. I gotta. Got a decent entry on the pullback there. I'm hoping for a drop. Come on. Apple, nice. Let's go. <laughs> Brian, it didn't. It didn't work. Whatever. Yeah. Really? And we just ran out of time here. We got uh, ten seconds left. Yep. Ten seconds. According to, according to the atomic clock. It's bouncing here. We got some sign. Oh, there. Oh. oh. There it was there it was the dinghy. Okay. MU oh, did a okay. spike up and then pulled back down towards VWAP going into the close. So we'll see what uh, earnings they have to offer here shortly. It was not a bad little trade to close the day on, so I'll take it. Pull up Benzinga real quick for us. All right. Oh, so Pen Gaming ended up off on the day. Oh, D, what, what was the 21 adjusted stuff? EBITDA of about 2.575 million? Triple D. 
oh, and they had earnings. Price Smart reporting well, $0.90. Sort of. cents. Papa sort Sandy, of. They Michael gave Fango. a prop. It wasn't Price actual Smart. earnings. They gave uh, an update to their profit expectations. Uh, uh, review uh, of, but okay. it was a really weird it was a really weird one, Brian, because they said like eight hundred seventy-seven point four million. The numbers were just crazy. They said that their their previous estimate was one hundred and forty million. They're now estimating yeah. Q4 sales to be between one hundred and seventy and four hundred and seventy million. Oh, I think actually they corrected that. I can I can see here they corrected it about four hours. Micron later. reporting seventy-eight cents. Seven, that's a 70. beat for a Micron seventy-eight there you cents. Go. That makes sense. Revenue so of still, 5. Still 7, an 7 billion. That's revenue. also a beat for yeah, Micron actually. MU. Thank you. I didn't see that. Though, Micron correct. spiking we were, here. We were doing the pre market the show and we saw that and said, okay, that's, that's 40, a warning bell that if you really have now, no idea how much revenue, here good bit of time. But should you really have that? So, really gap? Micron MU. Seems like on earnings per share and they beat on revenue. Eighty-one forty-five okay. now for Micron Technology. Wow. Look at that. Eighty-one fifty-five uh, shares up uh, two dollars forty-four cents now. Two dollars. BNGO Bionado Genomics plans to offer and sell subject to market so and other Dan conditions. F, shares uh, of its common stock in an underwritten public offering. That's webinar BNGO Bravo November webinar. Golf Oscar Bionado Genomics. At 8 p.m. Eastern. It's funny watching this thing uh, trade. It's just all of a sudden the trades go through at, uh, you know, $2.79, $2 below 81, and then it pops right back up. <laughs> I don't know what's, what's going on there. Maybe some. Uh, Micron, Micron sees Q2 diluted earnings per share. Or something. Of 41 mm -hmm. cents You're doing plus or minus drops. 7 cents. Wow. So, see well, where, I did not. I wasn't going to take the risk, but uh, did anybody in the room trade MU? Take the risk on that, and because uh, it popped up pretty much immediately. Yeah, and it was, but it's been jumpy all over the place. Um, spread's not very attractive right now. It's about thirty-five cents. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's, seems, seems, 40, yeah. yeah see, if, see if it can hold here. <clears throat> uh, Q two. Estimate of sixty-three cents. Yeah, see that's yeah, it's dropping. Well, thank you, uh, thank you to Ninja. I, I got uh, a nice uh, little pop end of day there on FTFT. <clears throat> oh, power now, yeah, Brian. No, that was the trade just before the close. Power of a community. I yeah. never would have found that trade. Without uh, without that flag, so appreciate that. Oh, look at it. it's over six bucks Q2 now. Q2 non uh, gap yeah. earnings of seventy five yeah. cents plus or minus seven cents. Dang, man! My mic run. You could have uh, just held to the close. Now seventy nine twenty five. You know, I just really oh, mic run. No, I don't blame you. Look at MU now, moving back down below uh, the close. So. Yeah. You see, yeah. that's uh, yeah, that's what I was worried about. Maybe uh, some of these numbers are baked a bit, you know, a bit of baked in already. So, B I N C, Vincent, Later, Dan F. We'll see you tonight. Case. You're going to be here for the RX webinar. Victor, and the November Charlie, B I N C. Oh, it's, it's Thursday. Thursday. Yes, Thursday. A E H R A E H R test systems reporting oh, a loss of seven cents. Wow, look at uh, FTFT go, baby. <clears throat> Whew, it's at 650 now. Just cranking. Sales of 1.7 million for AEHR. WDFC, WD40 reporting $1.72. Sales of 8 o'clock, indeed. So, four hours from now, guys, in the webinar room. Is it in the webinar room or the classroom? Uh, he, he does it in the webinar room now. Now? Okay. Yes. We had been in the classroom for a while. But... All right. In the webinar room then. Wow. Look at MU right back up. This is this is just not... Yeah. I don't know how you yeah. manage to manage risk. Tough to Anyways. trade that. No way. No tough to manage your risk in it as well. Yeah. Crazy times. 
Where do you put your stop? <laughs> and, and what are you looking to get back? Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Go crazy. <clears throat> all right. Well, that was it for our earnings. I think that was the, uh, all of the interesting one was just yes, MU. Yes, it was. Although we so did we'll have a say... good conversation with WD-40 yep. Corp. <laughs> <laughs> We'll say goodbye to everybody out on YouTube. Thanks for joining us today. We will see you back here on Monday. Yep. Later, everyone. Have a good night.